I got to the end and I started feeling my heart going through my chest. I was out of breath, I started fighting for survival. It's all about technique, you don't have to push hard. I feel, when I was doing that, it felt like I wasn't moving at all. Aqua Lounge, baby. That's where, that's where it goes down. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. Um, I went a little bit hard on my last race, stuffed myself up. Like I said, I'm a pure triathlete amateur. I'm the dumbest of the dumbest. So I figured this out <laughs> while I was here. So pretty crap. So all I can do now is a little swim. It's gonna be quite cool though. It's gonna be like an easy swim. There's a pool. Awesome little pool. I'm at um, Midland Main Virgin Active. Very cool gym. It's, uh, Right after that, got a little surprise for you guys. Um, I'm gonna hit like a, a quick 2K swim. It's gonna be like a simple, easy, effortless swim. And then check this out. This is where I'm going to be recovering. Check it out. Yeah. Aqua Lounge, baby. That's where, that's where it goes down. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. Let's just put it out there, but I was wrong. <laughs> um, I used to swim a little bit in school here and there, you know, playing a little bit of water polo, that sort of thing, but nothing endurance like no long distance, not even 100 meters dashes. Uh, I've just always been quite crappy at that. I didn't know until um, my coach told me to uh, get in the pool and do a quick 400. Let's just see how it goes. Let's warm up nicely. I got to the end and I started feeling my heart going through my chest. I was out of breath, I started fighting for survival. I made a lap to the end and back, and I was exploding, I just could not do it. And that was 50 meters, I mean 25 meter pool. So I haven't been a good swimmer at all. <laughs> so it's been a struggle of mine, and for most new triathletes, it is a huge struggle. No one manages that easily. So, about a year ago, that's when I actually started working with the coach and that sort of thing, starting to get my swim right and stuff like that. Um, I just knocked down a 2.6k swim. Um, my heart rate average was around 125, somewhere around there. Sorry, I didn't check so happy here, but 125 um, at a pace of about 150s. So I'm not a fast swimmer, but I'm, I'm swimming, I'm doing what I have to do, which is cool. So that's going to be the next step. It's going to be working on that swim getting it more efficient and yeah, knocking that out the park. I need to manage 3.8 k's. Just the sound of that is depressing. I don't know how we're going to do that. So anyway, this is what happens. But now, let me check it out here. This is the aqua lounge. I'm going to stick on some bubbles and it's recovery time. This is recommended. You have to do this. And you can see how quiet it is. This is what I enjoy, where no one's sitting around, you don't have to wait for weights and machines and crap like that. You just come in, you do what you need to do, and you bubble up home. Cool. Let's enjoy this stuff. I'm going to speed everything up a bit so you don't have to watch me floating around in this pool. Later, peeps. So, that was a 2.6k swim. Like I said earlier, a year ago I wasn't even able to finish two laps, which is a 50 meter. So, making a little bit of progress. I remember though, when I first started, how daunting it was, how, yes, how, what a struggle it was just to get to the end of the lap. 
I didn't really understand um, how much technique was involved. I mean, people keep saying it's technique, it's technique, it's technique. What does that mean to a, a new triathlete to, who actually doesn't know, you know how to swim or anything like that? Technique means bugger all. So, especially when the coaches are like, it's all about technique, you don't have to push hard. I feel, when I was doing that, it felt like I wasn't moving at all, you know, and it's, it uses up so much energy to get to the end of the lap, as well as my heart rate shooting through the damn roof. We used to sit inside the pools and stuff like that and just have a chat and everyone's just, like, literally just chatting and floating. I couldn't do that crap. I didn't kicking and splashing around and whatnot. That, that was how I relaxed in the pool. <laughs> so when I started, I had to break it down into, um, little pieces i started with my stroke that was the most important thing I, I literally had to break it down into the phases so my recovery was coming over and wasn't over wide enough um, or high enough so you know i was actually grazing right through the water instead of going straight over it then i wasn't turning enough or anything. my catch wasn't catching any water that it was um i think it's called a slip or something like that i just kept slipping through the water and there was no no catch involved um so that's where I started. I'm sure everyone who who is actually watching this video, if you are watching this video and stuff, you probably are a new triathlete or something, you know, you're not used to actually time in the pool. I mean, maybe you've swam a little bit here and there like I did, but you can't put in the miles, or in our case, the kilometers. So as we move down the next few weeks and stuff like that, um, going to start breaking down the swim technique to actually really understand it um, on a really really basic layman's terms it's difficult for for me I, I just did not know what to do so I watched video after video after video and the problem with that is you watch it you understand what's happening but when you're putting it into practice it's, it's it feels like you're doing what you're supposed to be doing but you're actually not so I didn't see any increase in speed and stuff like that. Um, I still struggled. My heart rate was still sitting in the 160s and, you know, going up and down the lanes and stuff like that. I'm talking like about a 400 meter. I wasn't able to swim a 400 meter. There's no, no chance. I get to the end of the lane, I'm like holding on the side, I'm like panting and <laughs> my eyes are bloodshot red and heart rate through the roof. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, that was swimming for me. So stick around. We're going to work this out really nicely, break it all down so you understand not just what, for example, what the catch is, but how to do the catch, how it should feel when you got your, your, your hands in the water, where it starts, where it ends, and like little bits and pieces. Um, that's the only way I found that it worked for me. Um, and I'm by all means not an incredible swimmer as it is, I still have a lot to learn, but this is a journey that we're going to be doing together. So. Stick around, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you around. Cheerio.